Disabilities in Aboriginal communities can be more occurring than it is in the uh, general community because of the fact of our lifestyles. And it's not uncommon to see someone in your community suffer from some type of disability. But it's not really a burden to our people because of that uh, connection of the extended family thing. And so everyone just pitches in and uh, helps with the caring of that person who may have a disability. Lurpen, L-U-R-P-W-E-N, means mist in the evening in our language. So when she was born, we did not even know what Down syndrome was. We did not know what it meant. But this did not deter her mother. Her mother spent every available time finding out what Down syndrome is. And she then decided right from the very start to rear our child, Lupin, as a normal child in, in, in society. To exist like a, any other person in the, in, the, in the Australian community. To be totally independent should anything die. And she, her mother always taught her that, to, that she won't be around forever. So she left her one day look after herself and uh, she certainly displayed everything that her mother had taught her to be independent. My mind's built in to my head saying I have to get out, I need a space. My choice, I chose this land, I was born in this land. I think one of the biggest fears that all parents face and know that they will come across it in time, and that's death. When the angel of death comes flying around, you can't chase it away, mate, you're gone. And I think most parents don't want to leave a child behind, especially when they have a disability. After Lupine's mum passed on, uh, a very dear friend of mine went down and looked after her, even so much as to move into her home and keep it as normal as possible. And so we share, we share the caring load. My heart goes out to people who, who can't get away from caring for a child or a person within their family that has a disability. I think the Australian community and also the Aboriginal community has to become more care aware so that we can we can give that full support. Like as I talk now there's plenty of people out there that uh, possibly will go to their bed tonight. They got no help whatsoever, and that's not only in the Aboriginal community in regards to disability, that's in the general community. Because a lot of times people just won't go and ask for help. So we have to become more aware that these people do exist, and that these families do exist, and that we are there to help. We need to get out there and help. My name is Len Clark. I reside at an Aboriginal community near Warrnambool in Victoria. I care for my daughter, Lurpine Clark, who was born with Down syndrome.